how you guys have my back. I mean, I always know you did, and I never question it, but I just, I never say enough to all of you that I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I know this is a little different from First Christian, and I have a reputation in my family that when I have a project, everybody got to get involved, even if they don't want to be. <laughs> women and also I'm just expecting to have a great time a glorious time and just to see what it's all about because it's my first time here what is a mixer a mixer a mixer is but well, it's where professionals come together and to exchange ideas and to network and to meet with other like professionals and so they come together um, and, to and to talk they come together to see what someone else is doing and they come together to learn so now my thing was if the world can do it, why can't the church? So why can't we bring women together to come in a room with who are like minded women to exchange ideas, to meet other women, to talk about where we are in ministry. And for some who are here, we're not sure where we are in ministry. Some of us are not certain, but yet there's a tug on our heart that says that we feel as though that God is calling us. This is the place to be. Because as I said, as you look around this room, it's filled with so many ladies, so many different types of experiences. And that's why we are here, to talk about where we've been and to share our experience with someone else, to help pull someone else up and to bring someone else along. When I respond to his call, basically I do it with cakes. And I teach people um, baking, cake design, um, and we do it out of fun. I've seen marriages, you know, people, uh, husband and wife wanting to uh, repair their marriage just out of one little fun session. Um, my passion is young girls and women. Um, as far as the Virtuous Women Project, it's a 501c3 nonprofit organization. And what we do is we raise funds to help female high school seniors with scholarships so that they can attend college. I'm an evangelist and I'm an author. Um, my testimony um, is actually my book. I'm Erica. I love me. <laughs> and that's where Pretty Girl Academy comes from. But back then, I didn't fight with my mind. I fought with my hands. And I got in a lot of fights. But today, I fight with my intellect. Um, I'm a community activist. I'm a community advocate. Somebody, somebody needs you. And God is going to send you to get that somebody. Because for some people, only you can speak to them. Only you. Only you. And, you. and God will use you to break them in. The power of mixing was awesome. I'm leaving with a testimony, left with a bunch of new contacts and some new insight and feeling really inspired and motivated to keep doing what I'm doing. What I loved best was how the Holy Spirit moved and connected us organically, even at our tables. I just appreciate her for having the thought around um, the power that's, that's in us. What I'm hearing is they got it, you know. Um, it has really gone beyond my expectations and I'm just so grateful to God for for how he has blessed this event. And um, so I'm really looking for some great things to come from these women. Uh, I think we're gonna do it again and let's see what happens. <laughs>